Thursday. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be all about my car because I'm finally doing a few things to it, mainly just fixing things and cleaning it all, but it needs to be done. So I'm going to do a quick run through over my car to just show you the state it's in at the moment. And to be honest, it's a little bit embarrassing, like I've never let it get this bad before, like I'm usually on top of things, fixing them as they come. But yeah, I'm at the point where like I have three things that I definitely need to do to it. Um, so first thing I think you might be able to tell is my roof lining. It's sagging a lot. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's like hanging down pretty low. So that is my first task. I'm ringing up about my roof lining today and hopefully getting it done Monday or Tuesday next week. I also need to buy new tyres because they are terrible. So bad. Like I've had them for three and a half years now. So yeah, I got my wheels and my tyres done in April 2018. So they're nearly four years old. They're very close to four years old. So yeah, they've worn down quite a bit, but in saying that, they've lasted me so long. So I have Achilles tyres on. My first dilemma with it all is I had a look at quite a few, you know, like Jack's Tire Power, Bob Jane, and they were all sold out of Achilles in the 19 inch. So one of the guys that I work with, he sent me this website where they have really cheap tyres on there, and they send them either to you or to a workshop and then you go to the workshop to get them fitted. I had a little bit more of a look on the website and found the Kumo tyres. I, I don't really know how to say it, but it's K-U-M-H-O. So I found them on there and because they're more of an expensive tyre, you get free shipping, free fitment and like free like wheel alignment and stuff. And they also had a deal on the tyres where you buy three, you get one free. So they came down to basically... I'd be paying another $40 more to get the Kumo tyres over the Achilles. So I think I'm going to go with those, I think. Um, I've got to do that today as well. So my tyres and my roof lining are two things that I've got to do today. And also my key. I thought I lost it for a second. Also my key. So if you own an older Commodore, you'd know we don't have a flip key. Some of the 2012 models do, but most of them have just a normal key. So as you can see, the leather is ripping on both sides. I still have my spare key, and I definitely could use that, but I just prefer to get a new key. So I went to Mr. Minute near where I work, and he said that he could replace the casing, like put a new casing on it for about 40 bucks, which is really cheap. Or I can get a whole new key from him for 250 and it'd be a flip key. So I think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow before I go into work. Because you can do it while I'm at work, which is amazing. I know, first world problems, whatever. But yeah, that's just what I wanna do. So I'm gonna show you the state of the rest of my car and then I'm gonna wash it because I have not washed it in months and it is filthy. Like I took her camping three weeks ago now, two or three weeks ago. And I haven't washed it since, so there is grass stained, like there, it was muddy, driving through long grass, like it was not really suitable for the Commodore, but she made it, she survived. First of all, the inside, so obviously I showed you guys the roof lining, terrible. For some reason, these lights still don't work. I'm not too sure why, I've replaced the bulb twice in both of them and the middle one, because I have three, I've got one in each of these and then one in the middle. Surely you can see the dust that is all sitting along my dash. It's terrible. It needs a clean, like I said. And yeah, there's just... It's just filthy. Needs a very good clean. So yeah, the inside isn't too bad, apart from the roof lining and the lights. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm going to get those fixed. And I also need to, like, obviously vacuum and do a big deep clean. Another thing, though, with my window, it's been like this for years. And I don't know if I bought it like this or if it's happened over time with the heat. Can you see the little squiggly lines in my tint? So basically my tint has bubbled. So yeah, I need to get my windows retinted as well. But that's a later problem for me. That is not a priority at the moment. This is the outside of my car. I don't know if you can tell how filthy it is, like, honestly, can you see the marks there? That is from driving through the wet, muddy grass going camping. 
And yeah, she is pretty bad. Those are my tires at the moment. They have very little tread left on them. Also, my door. You can kind of tell how it's not very shiny. I still haven't fixed it. So yeah, my driver's side door still doesn't have the top coat on it. So I need to buff it. I don't know why it's just that door. It's always been like that. My paint is also peeling here. And it's started peeling on my spoiler now too. Just around there. Which is normal. Like red fades quicker than most cars. And the spoiler is normally where it hits first as well as the roof. My roof is fine for now. But apart from that, not much else needs doing. I'm going to wash my car and yeah, I guess I'll just film bits and pieces of it for you guys. This is the car wash that I use. So it's the Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax in the yellow, the yellow one. They have an orange one as well. I love Meguiar's. I also use their leather cleaner for my seats. I've just finished washing my car and I've just put it in the garage so I can do like the interior and stuff and it's in the shade it's a bit easier to do. First of all though I'm gonna go in with this glass and dash cleaner so I'm gonna do my windows because even though I wash my windows with the car wash I like to go over it with this glass and dash cleaner from Turtle Wax so I obviously also clean my dash with this as well just give it a wipe over I find it really good, it gets all the streaks out of the glass. So yeah, I'm gonna go in with that first, obviously with the clean microfiber cloth. Then I'm gonna do the inside, like my carpets and stuff. I've just finished cleaning my windows. And <laughs> someone has come out to see what I'm doing. He always likes to go in my car. Whenever I leave my doors open while I'm cleaning it, he'll go and sit in like on the floor. It's so funny, he's so cute. I've got the vacuum out. I've also cleaned everything out of my boot. So I'm going to vacuum my boot because it got very dirty from camping. So I'm going to vacuum the boot. And I'm also going to vacuum all the mats in my car. So I didn't actually buy these mats. They, the owner that I bought it off already bought them with the car. She bought the car brand new. I also still need to clean my dash, so I'm gonna wipe that down because it's very dusty. So after I vacuum my car, I'm going to go in with the Meguiar's leather cleaner. I've only ever used this stuff on it and it's so good. It is a cleaner and conditioner, so it obviously cleans them and keeps the leather looking good. So yeah. It's very easy, it's just a one step process. If anyone is interested in a good leather cleaner, I would highly recommend this. Also, with my door situation, the driver's side door, um, I mentioned it before, it doesn't have a top coat on it. It needs to be either re-sprayed with a top coat, but if they do that, they have to sand it down, repaint the red, and then put a top coat on it. Repainting just the one door red is quite risky because it could end up to be like a slightly different shade of red because it's so hard to match. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna keep buffing it. I did end up getting it buffed, I think it would have been like two years ago now, maybe even three. So anyway, my boyfriend went and bought me this. It is the Meguiar's Ultimate Compound Color and Clarity Restorer. We're gonna use these on my door to see if it brings the color back out because if it does, it's like a cheaper solution like an easy fix kind of thing obviously it's only temporary eventually in the long run three to five years time when my paint starts wearing down really badly like obviously it's already started on my spoiler and my um my door handle so when it starts wearing down really badly like my roof and everything then i think i might get my whole car resprayed with a different color <laughs>
good work. I ordered some new tyres. So yeah, it's very exciting because I am definitely overdue for some new tyres. I was originally going to get the Achilles because that's what I have on my car now and they've lasted me three and a half years. I've probably said that already. But they had a deal on the website where you buy four tyres and you only pay for three. So they ended up being only like $50 dearer than the Achilles. Because they're a more expensive tyre, you get shipping and the fitment for free. Also, another thing I did Friday morning was I, before I started work, I went to Mr. Minute and I got him to cut me a new car key. I will check in again once my roof lining and tyres are on. I have a guy coming around to fit my tyres, do a wheel alignment, and I'm so excited to have fresh new tyres. My tyres are all done. The whole garage literally smells like fresh tires at the moment. But look at them. Oh my gosh, the lighting is terrible. Look at how shiny and fresh they are. Oh my lord. Stunning. <gasps> they smell amazing. Is that weird that I like the smell of fresh new tires? So as you would have just seen, my car now has fresh new tires on it. I love them so much. They look so much better, so much more grip. I'm about to go take it for a drive to test them out. Also, service was so good. I highly recommend them. I'll leave the I'll try and link the website down below, but I ordered them off Tarula tires. I paid $795 for four Kumo tires, and that included shipping, fitment, wheel alignment, like literally everything would highly recommend if you are looking for good tires. So I just had the guy come and do my roof lining for my car and it looks so good. He did a really good job. So much better. So yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I didn't really do too much to it, mainly just showing you guys what I used to wash and clean my car, as well as getting a few things fixed. So I hope you all enjoyed watching and I will see you all in my next video.